Tuscaloosa. I have a confession to make. I am doing too many saving challenges. It's my fault. Yeah, my fault. That's why I want to do up close and personal so you can see how serious I am. Uh, I just counted my saving challenges between my mini Mondays and my quarterly challenge and my game night. I'm doing a total of 30 challenges if you count each individual letter of the letter challenge. 30 challenges? That is ridiculous. I can't keep this up. But anyway, this video is about how I plan, how I, how I am staying organized doing these 30 challenges and staying motivated. But I do not uh, recommend it because I am someone who does not like to start things and um, quit or I do not like uncompleted projects, put it like that. I think it's because I'm the seventh child, and you know, seven represents completeness. So maybe that's what it is, but I was just looking at um, Chris' video, Budgeting Just Because, when she was talking about the dark side of saving childs and everything she said it resonated with me. I was already working on a video to talk about saving challenges anyway, but that really gave me the momentum to go ahead and put mine out. So 30 saving challenges... That's excessive. I mean, of course, I want to save and I want to inspire. I aim to inspire you guys. But 30, yeah, that's too many. Because I need to be focused on building my um, retirement portfolio and building generational wealth. So all these saving challenges is not going to be it for me. This is just my experience. So if you're a new budgeter here, just look at the whole video. And if anything resonates with you, apply it to your journey. I'm not judging anyone. I'm talking about Miss V30. Yeah, that's, that's a little excessive. So stay tuned so I can show you how I organize, stay organized doing all these challenges and how I stay motivated. But I will be making some changes in quarter three. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, let's talk about these 30 saving challenges. Um, In my opinion, that's too many. Even though I'm the one doing it, I'll be the first one to admit, yes, that's too many. Even though I'm organized and, and I, I actually am not overwhelmed with doing them because I have a strategy of how I do them that is completely too many. So, disclaimer, I did not intend to do this many um, savings challenges. I usually um, have a schedule of how many I do, but I got a little overwhelmed with, you know, the cute items that are coming out in the community. So, I have to um, focus on what's important. Yes, you can support, but you can support it when it's when it makes sense for you. So I'm going to complete my 30 challenges, but moving forward, quarter three, I will scale down tremendously. Reason why I'm still going to do the 30 challenges because I am someone who does not like to start a project and quit it, and well, stop it. Probably because I'm the seventh child that represents completeness. I don't know, but that's that's just who I am. So I'm going to go ahead and complete these 30 challenges. But I thought I'd make a video for new supporters or, you know, existing supporters that may be getting overwhelmed with um, these challenges. And go check out um, Chris over at Budgeting Just Because. She just did a great video talking about the dark side of saving challenges. Now, no, we're not saying that saving challenges are bad. We're just saying that there's a um, way to do the savings challenges so that you don't get overwhelmed so you can still enjoy saving money because you can go to, get overwhelmed because everybody has freebies. Every, a lot of people have cute challenges, and so we want to do all of them right now, and sometimes that um, derails you from your focus. At least that's my experience. I'm not. I'm still focused, but I'm not as focused as I could be. Okay, enough rambling. Let's go ahead and get into it. So the 20 challenges I'm doing, I'm doing 20 mini challenges on my mini Mondays. Originally, I was just doing like five or six. And then Chris over at Budget Just Because came out with the letter challenge. That's how I came up with, with 20 because it's actually 12 letters. So each one of those are challenges. That's why it's so many. But when I ordered it from her, I should have just ordered it and just put it to the side and just finished some of the other challenges and just maybe did the letter challenge by itself. But I was so excited because I'm a human just like you guys. I just started adding it to the mini Mondays. That's how I came up with 20. So once I finish, I think I'm going to go ahead and complete these eight regular challenges that I'm doing. And then I'm only going to do the 12 letter challenge going forward. 
And once I complete all those, then I'll get on track. And I will only be doing like five or six mini money savings challenges because my mini money savings challenges is for the money is reallocated for whatever is a priority at the end of the month. So being that with that being said, I need to complete some challenges. Yeah. So that's my plan. So the next one is I do five quarterly challenges. And you know, one of them is the 20K challenge where I feel like I um, could have did better with that. Instead of doing some smaller challenges with the 20K, I should have, when I started the 20K, I should have just um, let that be the one challenge that I do quarterly. But the reason why I did some of the other smaller ones, because I was trying to reach some goals in my sinking funds because that's where those challenges go because just doing the 20k challenge that's not going to benefit my sinking funds because it's going to take a while to do the 20k so i guess i wanted some instant gratification while doing the longer challenges so that's my reasoning for that and the game nights i just do five games and i just do them until they complete or um to the end of the quarter so that's it for the saving challenges so how do I stay motivated and organized to do these challenges? Okay, so this is how I stay organized and motivated. I schedule my challenges, my mini monthly challenge or bi-weekly on Mondays, every other Monday. I don't do mine every Monday because of my work schedule. And quarterly challenges or bi-weekly on a Friday. And the game night is bi-weekly on a Saturday. The good thing about this is these, all my challenges are in the same week. It's on that same, this is the same week, that Monday, Friday, and Saturday. And then I skip a week and then I do it the next week. That has helped me tremendously. I don't get overwhelmed. So, yeah. And each challenge has a different source. So, none of this money, none of the money for my challenges come from our income. Only money that comes from my income is the 20K challenge, of course, because it's a larger amount. So my sources for my mini saving challenge is my rollover from my variable spending. If you've been here before, you know Ms. V gives herself $200 a week, so bi-weekly, that's $400. So the money that's left over from the $400, that's what I use for my mini Mondays. And that helps because I'm not taking additional money out of my um, buffer. This money that's already budgeted out to come to me. I've been doing this since I started budgeting. And my savings challenge in game night, that money is from part-time jobs or any kind of side income, any kind of bonuses. So that really helps a lot. So like I said, that's not additional money coming out of our um, buffer. And I have a different way that I reallocate because I like... Um, instant gratification and I can be disciplined and wait long term but I need the instant get gratification in order for me to do that so my mini money Monday mini money save mini <laughs> monthly my mini saving challenges are reallocated monthly so whatever is going on at the end of the month I don't know when I first start just whatever is important at the end of the month that's where the money for the mini monthly goes that's another reason why I don't need to do so many challenges because I need to reallocate that money monthly because that's my instant gratification. The, the savings challenge is uh, reallocated quarterly and the game night is reallocated quarterly and whenever I complete a game. So, you know, some of the games are just ongoing. You never complete them, so I do them quarterly. So, yeah, so all these things has played a part in my um, anxiety uh Staying low while doing these challenges. And the main thing has helped me is how I organize my saving challenges. Yeah. Let me show you how I organize my saving challenge. So my um, physical um, saving challenges that I have already printed out or in a binder. And I have um, organized them like so. This is the older binder that I already had. I didn't go out and spend any extra money. I did pick up these cute um, tab envelopes from Amazon. So I went ahead and labeled them. So these are all my monthly challenges. January through February goes in here. Then anything related to Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, summer, fall, Christmas, winter, spiritual, vacation, and the rest of these are variety, just different types of um, saving challenges. So when I complete a saving challenge, 
I just go in here, depending on what type of um challenge I want to do, I just go in here and um pick me one out and that helps a lot. And I have a lot of um freebies and challenges that I purchased that I have not um printed out. They are in a folder in my email and I have them labeled Etsy slash freebies. And that has helped tremendously. So when I get ready to um, print one out, I don't have to search through my email. I just go straight to that folder and print them out. So these four things are how I am staying motivated to do 30 challenges. But I would not recommend it. No, I wouldn't recommend it. I had to I had to force myself to get organized in order to complete the challenges since I have already started them. So, yeah, going forward. I am going to decrease the amount of savings challenges. I'm going to stay focused on my um, financial goals because, you know, my main financial goal is to retire early, pay off debt, and keep the debt paid off and build my um, investment portfolio. So savings challenges are fun and they are very effective, but they're um, you can get um, lost in these savings challenges, if you will. So, yeah. So I'm just trying to keep from doing it. So yeah. So that's it. So I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comment section. Can you add to anything I've said? Ways to um, stay organized so that we don't get overwhelmed. So we can stay focused on our goals. The purpose of us sharing these things on this in this community is to help each other. I hope something I said inspired you. Let me know in the comment section. Thank you and have a nice day.